though, even though these songs are, it's like a karaoke situation. I don't know how they look at karaoke stuff. I don't know how you can be copyrighted because the person that's playing these songs, he's got to have a license to play these songs or he'll be copyrighted. So long as he has a license to play these songs, he should be copyrighted. Way to go, see? Now that's a man there. That's a man there. Yeah, he's the man there, see? See how easy it is? Just follow his moves.
713 folks two more hours and it'd be red white and boom See how many people? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine.
Basket of the fried chicken. Huh? Where are you sitting? Go down the steps. All right. Well, I'll get it. Well, there's everybody's down there. VIPs are down there. Can I order for here? You'd have to be sitting in a chair. Sorry, go to capacity. Work on order. At a table, go talk to a host. All right. Thank you. Where's Tanner at? Tanner? Yeah. Right back I see him. Back. The VIP section, if you go down three steps to the left there, yeah. give me a, one of those chicken tenders baskets. Chicken tender basket. And he's got my information up there, my card, but I can give it to you again if you want it. Okay. Oh, oh, um, yeah, you have a tab at the bar, is what you're saying? Or? Yeah, at the bar, when I came in, I gave him my card, he wrote the information. Now, I've only had one beer from him. So you want me to give it to you? Which, who, who came down? Huh? Who came down and asked for it? So I know what to talk to. I know. Yeah, I was, um, give me just a second, I'll get that in for you. You said chicken tender basket? Yeah, yeah, you know where to go, right? Right down there. Alright, thank you.
Oh, that's all right. It, this thing got soaking wet Sunday down oh, in Fort Lauderdale. It didn't affect nothing. Oh, I walked in rain for an hour in the march. Well, folks, it's uh, six twenty, and it's starting to rain like hell down here at Eaton's Beach and Lake Weir, Olakawaha, Florida. I'm sure this is not going to affect the fireworks. It's just going to get darker quicker so they can be able to shoot them off quicker. I guess it's going to be out there in the middle of the lake on a barge. So, if there are any type of reputable fireworks company, everything would be on the barge by now, covered over, and everything's electronically activated. Because I used to do that stuff back in the. Uh, 70s and 80s. I just put on displays like that certain people in certain places. It don't seem like it brought too many people off the beach. into the third, either the third or fourth video. I had no idea, I lost track. I'm gonna try to stretch this one out for another hour and a half, then I'll start another one with nothing but fireworks. You know, like I would, I would, so good, I got you. Ow! Like sugar and spice. I feel good. Like sugar and spice. So good, so good, I got you.
All right. Still a beautiful day here. Got one big ass cloud over top of the the beach. So you can see nothing but blue skies all the way around. Blue skies all the way around, except we're looking that way. That's where it's coming from, up that way. It's coming right across the lake. You see it over there now. It's coming across this way. It's like, um, it's like whoever's supposed to reserve them seats have forfeited them. They haven't gotten them in time. It's already after seven. So I imagine you could probably still go over there right now because it's past time for reservations. See, we do have several veterans here now that need to be recognized. I don't know, I'm going to recognize one of them right now. Right up there. Thanks for your service, sir. How about that? Hey, that boy, They're still playing volleyball over there in the sun, uh, sand. It's already past 7, it's 7.30, so I think reservations are already been uh, forfeited, so, so what the hell, no, I can never down here, get out that rain, smart move, get the hell out of that rain, huh, yeah. All right, everybody, here we are. Wow, look, look over there. You can see the damn rain coming down. Yeah, it's coming from that way to this way. It's coming from here to this way. Looks like it's going to be a while, too, before it stops. It's going to rain at least an hour. All the way around. So over here. Oh, it's not too bad. There's only one, two, three boats at the dock right now. There's jet skis. I'm pretty sure you could probably rent them jet skis. It seems like there's a booth right there where you can rent them. Uh, I think I would want to rent one of them to learn how to ride the damn thing. You know, you can't, you can't go from full throttle to throttle down because that's going to flip your ass over probably the back horse you would get but I don't know I've never been on one before I've been behind a boat before though skiing I love that there's one two three pontoon boats and one two three regular uh, boats I don't know what you call a regular boat but you know that that's Ah. 
take about an hour and a half before fireworks supposed to start, so it looks like it'll probably quit by then. Everybody out there hit that thumbs up and subscribe to that channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand. I only need a little over a hundred more. There's all the speed boats over there behind that. I think it must be a private launching area. But you got that fence down theater separating them from Eaton Beach. But I don't see anybody out here checking anybody's credentials to whether or not they're permitted to. Uh, there's a John boat coming in. We get over here. I'm waiting for my food to come. Cause I'm getting hungry. So. I hope this deck don't get slippery because I'll be the first one probably to fall on the damn thing. And that won't be good. I'll just have to shoot myself if I fall down because I know something's going to break. That's what I do to horses when they fall and break their leg, they shoot them. Better watch out, that rain's wet. Are you filming all the kids? Yes, I am. I'm filming everybody. Anybody I can see. They're gonna be on YouTube tonight. Huh? No, I live in Ocala. Where? In Fort McCoy. Fort McCoy? I almost lived out there one time. You know where the ball field is, the community center? Yeah, I almost lived right down the road from there, but it would cost too much. Look at all the gray sky. Clears up there, and then it goes over to there, and then you get a nice clearing over there. I have no idea what direction that is. But it's definitely coming from that direction there, across the lake. So let me see, what direction would that be? That would be, let me see, this is right off of Highway 25 in Old Lackawaha. So... I have no idea. There's a ski do. I think what they do is they allow you to rent him. That's a big ass uh, skidoo there. I have no idea how much those things cost. Well, I bet they cost more than what my motorcycle cost me. Look 
little tiki hot. I like to get one of them. I would rather have one of them. I need to go get me some of those weeds uh, that put over top of mine instead of that canvas, that material top that goes on my gazebo for my hot tub. I'd rather have something like that, man. That looks really, um, you know, and put your lights up under it and everything. But I'll go ahead and put the fabric up on top of it until it wears out, dry rot, and then I'll go ahead and get that stuff there. That stuff there is expensive. It'll probably cost more than what the hell the gazebo cost me. I wonder where in the hell my food's at. Still ain't stopped raining, it's still raining like hell. Well, these people gonna eat. They're gonna eat like uh, once, once my food gets here. They're gonna eat like uh, stuff. <laughs> I got some chicken thing basket coming for everybody. So everybody's gonna get plenty of food. Oh, it's really coming down. I, it's not coming down as hard as what it did Sunday. I tell you, Sunday, man, it, it was, uh, I mean, it was a torrential down, downpour, man. I tell you that. It didn't take us more than two minutes to get soaked to the bone. There was uh, Mike, uh, the armed fisherman, and Raphael, uh, Ragu Monkey, and myself, Florida Audits. We were soaked to the bone. Luckily, I brought a second... Uh, some extra clothing to put on before I got in my car to head back towards uh, Ocala. There's Tanner. Tanner's on the job. Just brought the beer in. Get it right, get it right, Tanner. I'll swim before my nuts. All right. Tell you one thing, they're not gonna go hungry. I tell you that. And see, that's what I want to put above my gazebo, that, that stuff there. Uh, you can go buy it. Uh, actually, you can go to Lowe's and buy what they call weeds, R-E-E-D-S. It's expensive, but all you do is buy enough of it to throw up on top. It'll, it'll, it'll keep the rain from coming out, but the stuff would, um, if, it, if, it, if it's above a hot tub, that shit will... Uh, drop off into your hot tub, so you definitely got to keep a cover on when you're not using it. So they got little little things that tie the weeds together, and um, every once in a while they get rusty and they fall off into the, into the hot tub or the pool, however you want to do it. Just like that out there, I love to have something like that. That'd be about the right size, about a 10 by 10. Because my concrete slabs are 10 by 10, and I already got a gazebo put up. I got everything up except for the top. I haven't put the top on yet. I was gonna wait until sometime early next fall to do it. My people ain't gonna be home until 
first week in November, so I'll, I'll put it up then. But uh, no, I like to have something like that. A little tiki hut. So. I'm gonna get get the hell out of this rain until my food gets there. So, hang on, everybody. Uh. <coughs> yeah, at least I'm out of the rain for the most part, except for what's dripping off the what's dripping off the weeds and whatever in the fuck you wanna call it. A lot, lot of little, lot of infants here. Uh, less than a year, less than two years. A lot of them, people carrying around little babies wrapped up in blankets. I think I think kids are so precious. I just uh, there's no way in hell I would want to raise a kid in in this uh, in this environment that uh, United States of America has become. It's a uh, You know what they say, I, I used to be, like if you ask most of the people in the United States, are they proud of being American? I'll bet you it's going to be 50-50. Uh, I, can't, I can't honestly say that I'm proud, I'm proud of being American, but I tell you what, the way things are right now, it's hard to be proud to be an American. I mean, it, it is so screwed up nowadays. It's, uh... It's just terrible. Uh, so looks like they opened up that uh, tiki hut bar over there. A lot of people hanging around, unless they're just getting out of the rain. A lot of people are out there on the slide. They got a big ass slide out there. They got a deck, two story deck. Got a big slide. There ain't too many of them out here now. Nah, it was full. What do you think, Mike? There's my Second Amendment flag hanging right up there. And a lot of people that's in there, that's, uh, that got my back. And uh, they took my flag. They, they put it up there where you can see it. Like an amendment flag, that's what it's about. Most people just stepped. Most people just stepped over this uh, crime scene tape to get up in here because uh, there's nobody up in here now. This is usually a VIP reserve section. But uh, this be a good place to view the fireworks sitting right here. You want to worry about getting wet because the fireworks will be out there on that barge. You see a barge coming up about 8:30. They'll be bringing it up here to set it up. 
I don't know if that's a barge out there or if that's just a boat being towed. See that up in my That could be the barge, I guess, with the power rush on. See if they anchor it right there. Could be the barge there. There's only two people on it for something that size. You seem like it'd be. No, I don't see no mortars on there. Because they already have mortars set up on there already. Cover it over. Everything's done from a computer now. You have a computer set up, you have the charges electronically placed in the top of the mortars. All I gotta do is hit the button and it detonates. That's the bars there that I thought would be. Well, that could be it. No, I don't think that's it. I don't see any mortar on it. No, whatever that is, that's empty. Jet skis are getting ready to be fired up. There's two of them out here. Ski doo. Ski doo. Ski doo. So I get them safety straps put on you, my girl. So if you fall off, it throttles down. Like the rain is slowing down some, so you see there's all the boats with the lights on coming across the lake. Maybe that might be the barge is coming. They should be able to start this thing up early tonight. It's uh, 10 minutes to 8. I think by 9 o'clock they should be able to be straight. Almost an 
hour into this, this third video. Since the food gets here, I'm going to cut it off and get a couple bites and I'll wait until the fireworks come on. Everybody's going back out on the beach now since it stopped raining. Clear it up over there. That's the direction where the, that's west. So that's west. So that must be south going that way. That's the direction the storm went to. So that's good. Looks like you might get some sun before sunset. Yeah. See the sun's about ready to bust out. Yeah, everything came this way. Yep. I imagine uh, you see this dock, be this dock being filled up with boats once the. Uh, Getting close, uh, now it's gonna get bloody. Huh? Now it's gonna get a little more bloody here. Yeah. Yeah, this dock's gonna fill up here with boats pretty soon for the fireworks. I don't think I went to see fireworks for the last four or five years, I just wasn't into it. I just stayed home. Well, I think what the hell, I'm going to come up here. It ain't that far. It's only half an hour from the house. Open it up. Open it up. <laughs> I said open it up. Open it up. <laughs> <laughs> Both are coming in. We got one, two, three coming in. Two jet skis. A boat out there. And that looks like a barge right there. That could possibly, well, I don't know, that's awful close to the, to where the people are. I don't think we'll set them off that close. Unless they shoot them out towards the, in the middle of the lake.
Chicken tenders. No, I just ordered chicken tenders and whatever came with it. I don't know what came. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You want my card now or what? You need my card right now? It, okay. Oh, I don't know how much is. Well, it ain't very much here. Yeah, I want, this is for everybody, man. No, this is for everybody. And I'm gonna eat. Oh, he didn't give me no silverware, or did he? Uh, Everybody help themselves. I think everyone mostly ate, so it's all. Yeah, I seen you all eating. I said, yeah. oh my god, I ordered a thing. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right, everybody, I'm gonna shut this down for now. I'll get back with you when the fireworks start. Peace out, everybody. Have a good course of drive.